first game of the day, people. Game number one between Navi Jr. and Ima Vesta. Going to be a good series. It is, of course, a best of two uh, for the new ones out there. Uh, we all, all of the group stage matches are uh, just a best of two series. So either it's clean sweep or 1-1 one, one or a draw. We would not be getting any third game to play with. Now, it's a five-man smoke from both of these teams. So aggression being shown. Very early stages of the game here. Just probably the warding missions at the moment which we are looking at a five-man smoke well it's a four-man smoke technically into the dire jungle of uh, navi jr let's see what exactly they are able to find all of the radiant heroes have uh, all the dire heroes have already walked out of the area so it should not be a uh, engagement at the moment of course we are just going to start with last hits and denies gives us a better indication how the laning stages are going to go for both of these teams Right, so mid lane Timbersaw is going to go against a mid lane Primal Beast. How does that lane go by? Seems like to be, seems a lane which should be evenly divided, as in it should be a draw for both of these heroes in the mid area of the map. But by the looks of it, it's going to be two bounty runes for both of these teams at the early stages of this game, wherein we are not looking at any bounty runes being stolen or being taken extra. An even start for both of these teams very early stages of the game seems like a good start here a very peaceful one at that should be a pretty interesting game here right so just looking at the lane matchup we are looking at a templar assassin paired up with a clockwork in the bottom area of the map which is the safe lane for anima vista and for navi jr is going to be position three brood mother paired up along with uh, the shadow shaman to start of the proceedings and immediate cock coming into the picture just taking some mana away from pma was the intention but would not be able to get the hit nonetheless it should be a decent lane here for uh, the templar assassin i think templar assassin does pretty well here against both of these heroes since uh, with the assistance of clockwork they should be able to go ahead and manage those last hits and denies pretty easily on the templar assassin being a ranged hero always helps against the brood mother anyways at least in the early stages though a bit of a damage coming in pma taking uh well hit to right at the face due to the melt strike I already lost what half of our HP during the laning stages and a cock connection nice evades nice sidestep coming in from Zayak does not get hit by any of the cogs here so would be able to retain all of his mana and no damage dealt there this stuff waste of skill i guess but yeah the stage step was pretty decent coming in from zayak right so we already did go ahead and miss the first blood in the top area of the map uh, let me go ahead and change it to Rounds up. Uh, looking at the top area of the map, uh, the first blood has already been spilled. Riddies was the hero who went down first in the initial stages. So, first blood already taken by Anima Vista. A good start to the early stages of the game for them. Looking at the top area of the map, we are looking at a lion paired up with a brewmaster going up against for the juice and the spectre who has been currently gone upon at the moment. Is taking a decent chunk of damage, but they are going to go up on Tsukimoto himself. Tsukimoto finding himself in a bit of trouble, and that's going to be a kill coming into the way of uh, Navi Jr. While all of that was happening, it is Shadow Shaman who went down in the bottom area of the map, wherein, uh, yeah, just a trade in the kill, I guess, for uh, the side of Navi Jr. Two supports going down, both in the top and the bottom area of the map. An even start, well, uh, Anima Vista with two kills already on the map to work with. There is a small stack of creeps which was made by Sukimoto. well it was evaded by Niku at the moment who is having a pretty decent lane by the looks of it uh well no primal beast is actually having a much better lane than what timbersaw is having already with sitting with 22 last hits and only one deny so that's an excellent start coming in for uh, the primal beast in the initial stages and Ruth mother with 10 denies what in the hell 
Right, so PMA having a pretty decent deny game, to be honest. Ten denies already on the uh, onto the Broodmother. That's actually big. Denying a lot of experience away from the Templar Assassin in the very early stages of the game itself. A good start, I would say, for Navi Jr., where Inspector is not doing bad himself. He is actually doing bad, but only with 11 ha last hits. But Spectre as a hero only requires the levels uh, not too concerned. Unless he is dying in the laning stages, I think Spectre is going to be very happy. And God the Juice would be able to go ahead and recover with all of his assistants coming in in the later stages. Radiance is the first item of choice for Spectre. Of course, it has to be. And similar with the Broom, Brewmaster as well. Um, not exactly sure if he even goes for the boots in the early stages. Since he has that additional movement speed, he can always work with. So, yeah. Is he going into his boots or is he going into his Radiance directly? He is taking his boots first. But the second item of choice for Panda would be the Radiance as well on the Primal Beast. Normal being made. Uh, it is Niku who is finding himself in a bit of a trouble against Morale. Who has what? He's sitting at 30 last hits at the moment. And compared to Timber, so not doing bad with 24 last hits uh, towards his name. But an even start, I would say, a bit on the side of Morale. But he's doing decently well. In the leaning stages more action in the bottom area of the map pma has taken in a quite a bit of damage but would be able to walk away to the safety and would not be taking any further damage in fact the shackle has been committed a lot of damage done on eggy at the moment who will be able to walk away to the safety of the tier one tower but a nice bit of harassment coming in from the side of navi jr onto the templar assassin Niku is still farming away in jungle, really did not, does not want to contend with the Primal Beast in the early stages of the game, wherein the magical damage being turned out, turned out from the zero is actually completely insane. And as we are looking at the network chart, it is the Brewmaster who is right at the top of it currently, with the 2,600 networks against his name. Next is the Primal Beast, of course. So both of these off uh, the mid laner and the off laner from the side of Anima Vista, have a pretty, having a pretty decent game in the early stages of this uh, match one. There was a wisdom rune which did spawn in the bottom area of the map. Who got it? I think it's a primal beast who should have grabbed him for himself since he's the only hero <laughs> laning in the mid lane at the moment who has been left completely free. Timbersaw really does not want to contend with morale at this stage of the game wherein uh, the damage output from the zero is completely off the charts. And uh, yeah, a bit of damage would come onto the tier 2, tier 1 tower as well now. Uh, it is going to be Nico who would be going ahead and protecting that. Though a rotation coming in from morale, he is going into the top area of the map. He, they would want to find Spectre as a kill. But by the looks of it, they are going to be going upon Phoenix. Phoenix is definitely dead. I uh, don't think there is any assistance which can come in from uh, the teammates. And now, with the uh, level 7, he does have uh, his Pulverize still to utilize in case if he wants to go upon the Spectre as well. But God the Juice has already, well, he's kind of hiding away near his tier 1 tower, not wanting to show his face near the Primal Beast, who is going to be a bit of a problem for the side of Navi Jr. in the upcoming minutes because of the rotations he would be making. Not the easiest of heroes to bring down unless you have a lot of magic damage working towards yourself. And it's only the pure damage which will come in from the Timber Saw. He is already level 7. Rotations are still awaited by Niku in the early stages of this game. Wherein we, had, we have just not seen any rotations from both of these teams, honestly. 7 minutes in, where did the Wisdom Runes go to? One was picked up by Zayak and one was picked up by Tsukimoto. So, one for one trade in terms of the Wisdom Rune as well. We did not see any fights happening for the contention of it. Again, both of these teams are playing a pretty passive game in the early stages. Not much aggression, which has been shown out. Just one rotation coming in from the Primal Beast to the top area of the map. But other than that, as we're looking at it, Templar Assassin already retreated herself to the jungle. Would want to farm her items in that area of the map. Does not want to go against the Broodmother anyways, when all of her refractions are going to be eaten up by the Spider Babies. Level 6 is being targeted by the clockwork and he should be able to get it no he still has quite some distance away from his level six still very peaceful times as we're looking at it on the map uh, all of these heroes are just wanting to get their farm up rather than doing anything else on the map 
blade mail being built up by the primal beast which seems like a pretty decent choice majority of the primal beasts do go for that item in the early stages just to increase their damage output along with their trample more rotations and Rudis is the hero who has been gone upon but the rotation is coming in from the Tempesaur as well. They would be able to go ahead and finish off the Phoenix to start off the proceedings. A couple of skills being thrown out by Niku but uh, not really threatening the side of uh, Anima Vista. In fact they are just going to continue with the aggression. Not a lot of cooldowns he has to work with and he's already working with the haste rune in uh, the pocket of the Primal Beast and the rest of the heroes from the side of Navi Jr. are just going to walk away. Yes, they are able to walk away. Though the rotations are being made, they, this would be... No, the Templar Assassin actually went ahead and goes ahead and TPs back to the fountain. So that's a big kill, which was missed by Navi Jr. Now rotations are being made to the bottom area of the map. They would be able to go ahead and kill off the Shadow Shaman first. And the rest of the heroes from Navi Jr. will have to back away. Though they did come very close in order to finish off the Templar Assassin, but not to be. Uh, just not their day on uh, Navi Jr. at the starting stages. Already we are looking at it. Anima Vista with a 5-1 kill score. So, and a 2,000 net worth advantage towards themselves in the early, early stages of the game. And they need it. Uh, in case if they want to go into the mid stage of the game, having any chance of victory, they will have to play out of their skins, at least in the starting stages of the game, getting a couple of kills. The hook shot does not connect coming in from the clockwork, and uh, Niku is going to survive that gank attempt coming in from AB. Still quite some distance away from level 6 on Tsukimoto, so his aggression is going to come a little late. Already 10 and a half minutes in, working towards his... Uh, level 6 and uh, while we are looking at it Templar Assassin would be able to tear up a big juicy stack for himself this should provide a lot of gold into the pockets of Templar Assassin as we are looking at it going for the more aggressive belt on the Blink Dagger on TA not even going for the Desolator first since they know they are on a timer right on the side of AB they cannot let this game go too far into the later stages crossing even the 35 more 40 minute mark wherein we are looking at Spectre with 3 items to work with that's going to be some troublesome news for the side of AB and that's what they're prepping up for. More aggression, um, well, are they able to? Yeah, Radius will be able to go ahead and commit with this egg this time around. The hook shot again does not connect with the clockwork. Egg is definitely going to go off, so Radius would be happy at least he was able to survive with his life there in that engagement and a lot of time wasted from the side of AB, though the Radiance is still being worked upon by the Brewmaster. Still quite some distance away from it though needs about 2,000 more gold in order to get that item. PMA has been doing decently well for himself. Is the Orchid going to be the build or the Spectre going into the Orchid? Spectre is going into Radiance, so I think, yeah, the Orchid would be built by PMA in these engagements. Uh, yeah, he just queued it up. Orchid is going to be a good choice of item against all of these heroes. Like, even the Primal Beast to a certain degree is going to suffer against uh, the Orchid wherein he would not be able to cast his skills and the damage output and the lockdowns is going to be sufficient coming in from Navi Jr. Moves being made in the top area of the map. It is going to be the clockwork who is going to be paying with his life. Yes, he's definitely going to. The magic damage and the physical damage from God the Juice is more than enough for them to get that kill. On to the position 5 of AV. There are rotations made by the Brewmaster though. He wants to get a return kill. Does have his uh, primal split split available as well in case if he wants to utilize that. But seems like Navi Jr. are not interested. So they are going to give up on this tower, at least in the top area of the map. More rotations, smoke coming in. No, it is invisibility room on the primal beast and they would not be able to locate any heroes. Though they are going to use the twin gate, head to the bottom area of the map wherein uh, PMA is still farming away to glory. They would be able to find Zaya to start of the proceedings. Uh, Zaya is not going to be found. Is he going to be backing away though? It looks like they want to make an aggressive move here by the positioning of Zaya, but no. eventually he does decide to go ahead and walk away. And it, it would have been a suicidal, suicidal attempt. 
by all means because yeah there were a lot of heroes coming in from AB in order to protect. Spectre goes on and uh, to the clockwork one more time does not want to commit towards it and uh, clockwork would be able to walk away from the engagement and as we are looking at it a lot of aggression being shown by God the Juice in the early stages though Aggie is coming level 11 on the Templar Assassin what have you been doing TA? Right. So yeah, as you're looking at it, it's it, it's level 11 uh, on uh, the TA compared to all of the other heroes on the map. That's quite high, really. And is uh, already has the Blink Dagger completed. So going for a more aggressive build onto the TA, not wanting to go for the Deso, but the move is being made onto the Phoenix. Who's going to go down? The finger has been committed by Sukimoto, and they would be wanting to get their kill onto Niku. Would not be able to get. Oh, he did not have mana for the Pulverize on the Primal Beast, otherwise it could have been another potential kill onto Niku in the mid stages of the map, uh, mid area of the map, but the tier 1 tower, this is definitely going to go down. The Primal, well, the Primal Split was also committed by Panda, and Navi Jr. are just not interested at the moment. It's not that they are not interested, it's basically that they cannot fight against the side of AB in the early stages. That's the way the nature of the draft is. From both of these teams, we'll be looking at a pretty passive play coming in from Navi Jr. and AB would want to get more aggressive on the map, gaining more map control, taking down objectives would again be their big priority at the moment. Right, moves being made, bottom of the ramp, they would be able to get their hands on to the primal bees, which is a good. That's a very big kill and morale is actually going to go down here. I don't think he survived this engagement. A couple of more hits needed and eventually it is going to be PMA who would be able to come in with the last bits of damage in order to finish up that kill. Now it is going to be the clockwork who is going to be finding himself within a... Well, surrounded by a lot of babies at the moment and the TA will have to go ahead and blink away from the area. All of a sudden Navi Jr. coming in with the aggression already able to get four kills for themselves. He is in... He is in vision. He was in vision, he just did not know there was a sentry placed nearby by the side of Navi Jr. All the five heroes going down from the side of uh, Anima Vista in that engagement near the tier 2 tower of the Radiant team. So yeah, that, that's a big team fight. All of a sudden, we are looking at Navi Jr. who have regained most of the gold which AV were able to go ahead and accumulate for themselves in the early stages with 2600 gold gained in that engagement with 2900 experience that's quite a ton majority of the damage did come out from the timber saw about 2700 that's required a lot of damage coming out Right, so all in said and done, it is going to be Navi Jr. who are up with a bit of an advantage as we are looking at the win probability. It's 59% favoring the side of Navi Jr. And uh, by the looks of it, and look at this dip. They were ahead of uh, the side of Navi Jr. by quite a ton of gold actually. About say 3,500 gold. So that's a complete 5,000 network swing. Zayak did go ahead and commit with his... Uh, Serpent words in order to go ahead and put some pressure onto the tier 2 tower but Panda this time around with his uh, primal split available would not be any, any threat of dying at the moment at least on the primal beast and at least on the brewmaster so should be able to go ahead and defend this tower without many problems Ga even getting that bit of gold for himself that's always appreciated that's actually a lot of gold which you get out of killing out the serpent words so a nice bit of investment of time coming in from the brewmaster Radiance almost done, about 1000 more needed, gold needed for God the Juice and then the Manta style. That is when we are looking at more aggression coming in from Navi Jr. They would be able to get a hold onto the clockwork. Do they have any follow up damage? No, they don't. So Zayat would just be able to use his shackles and uh, kind of scare away the side of AV from approaching their own jungle. Bottom area of the map, they have gone upon. Uh, it's going to be PMA who's dead. Of course he's going to be dead. It's a three-man rotation coming in from the side of AV. They were able to kill off the pesky broodmother, but all of this time is actually wasted 
for the side of Anima Vista as we are looking at it Spectre heading his way towards his Radiance pretty recently and now rotations are being made Spectre coming in would be able to get a kill off onto the clockwork another kill going into the pockets of Navi Jr. so it's not the biggest of trades losing the support for uh, an off laner Aggression, top area of the map. It is going to be Templar Assassin. No, again, TP away. No button stuns available on the side of Navi Jr. They are hurting in terms of stuns though. Uh, with the only lockdown, effective lockdown they have is on the Shadow Shaman. Other than that, in, in case if he has already used both of his disables, which is the Hex and uh, the Shackles, then you can just TP out of the area without... Uh, taking in any further damage so that that is what the Templar Assassin has been able to do successfully twice in this game already which is quite amusing to see and Navi Jr. will have to you know kind of make some tweaks in order to have that hex being built by the Phoenix which is quite some distance away is going into okay it's a veil of discord is completed as yet so uh, eventually would go into what is that Adam again She was God. My bad, people. A small pause wherein we are looking at a disconnect coming in from Templar Assassin. Waiting for the hero to come back gives us a good opportunity to look at the items which have been completed. A couple of blink daggers online for the Radiant team on the line and the Templar Assassin which we saw earlier. Other than that, we are looking at Radiance on Panda which is a very big upgrade for the Brewmaster. Just the blade mill completed working towards the BKB on the Primal Beast and uh, just on the Radiant team. We are still working upon the Radiance on the Spectre. 18 minutes in, he should have his completed within the next couple of minutes. Aghanim Scepter, as we saw just now, built by the Timber Saw. So his tankiness is definitely going to be much higher. In terms of surviving these engagements, PM8 did go ahead and complete the Orchid. It's going to work towards the BKB Spectre making the move again. No. Just using the, Astro, the, the Spectro Dragger in order to farm up these creeps in order to complete. Just what? 230 more gold needed. So we'll have that item completed in a decent bit of time. Three man smoke coming in from the side of AV. They would be able to break the smoke on to the clockwork. You cannot use the Dragonum Scepter just because he's out of mana and just the chain lockdown coming in from the side of Anima Vista was more than enough in order to bring down the position to Timbersaw in that area. Now they would be able to go ahead and get themselves into the Roshan pit in case if they choose to do so. But I think they're, wait for the, they're going to wait for the Desolator to be completed before they take that action. And the Desolator is, I think is being delivered onto the TA at the moment. De Desolator is complete. So the damage output from Aegi is going to be extremely high in these upcoming engagements. Though we are looking at a bit of fight happening in the bottom area of the map. Pulverize has been committed by the group, uh, by the Primal Beast. We'll have to commit with his BKB as well in order to get out of the area. Spectre is going to find himself in a bit of trouble here. There is no Pulverize available on the in the hands of uh, the Primal Beast, but the magic damage is more than enough, and he would be able to bring down the Spectre from the side of Navi Jr. The egg has to be committed. Uh, well, not much damage actually done because all of the heroes have already retreated. Primal Beast is going to be chasing after no. He's trying to walk away from the engagement but now it is the turn of Niku to shine for the side of Navi Jr. who would be able to come in, finish off one kill onto the clockwork. So only two supports dead on the side of AV at the moment but uh, no, it is going to be the Brewmaster who is going to give his favor this life. So a, a good trade for the side of Navi Jr. wherein they were able to trade in what? One Four and two supports in the process here. And Spectre dying, of course, would not uh, was not the best case scenario. But eventually, I think the, it was an even trade. All said and done, because uh, you are getting what one core and two supports, losing your Spectre in the process as well. So yeah, that that kind of a bummer for the side of Navi Junior. But at least they'll be happy that uh, the rest of their cores were able to do a decent job in that engagement. A bit of a lag is what we are looking at here. It's a bit of a lag. No, it's a monstrous of a lag. And I think my client has it just frozen. No, no, it's reconnecting. It's going to crash any second by the looks of it. Let me just go ahead and restart the client, guys. Sorry about that.
It's working, guys. It's working. Give me a second here. It's almost there now. Hopefully we did not miss much of action happening. Right, already uh, we are joining in for a lot of action happening. Though uh, it is going to be the brute mother who is finding himself in a lot of trouble. It is the Templar assassin who has died first in the engagement. And in return, they would be able to get a kill onto the Shadow Shaman, the Broodmaster as well. Broodmother is dead. Now they are going to be chasing after the Primal Beast, who is dishing out a lot of damage onto Niku. Niku will have to walk away from this engagement. And all of this magical damage coming in, the stunts and the disables coming in from Tsukimoto have proved to be more than enough for them to get a kill. And in fact, it is going to be Navi Jr. who are going to be facing heavy losses in that engagement. At the end of it, how many heroes did they lose? They lost about four heroes. Spectre, the only remaining hero uh, who is left alive on the side of Navi Jr. All said and done, the Templar Assassin did take a tumble in the early stages of that team fight. But eventually, it is going to be AV who are able to come out on top. Looking at the fight recap, we are looking at what, 2500 gold. Now they are going to be making a move on Spectre. This is going to be a very big kill. And the moves are being made by AV at the moment. They are going to come after the Primal Beast. Now this is a big kill. In case if they are able to get the damage output. Does not have the BKB available. Would be in very big danger. And now it is going to be Morale. Who does, who does take a tumble. And it is a lot of gold going into the pockets of the side of Navi Jr. As a return they would also be able to get a kill on Tsukimoto. And God the Juice writes good trade in response. So yes they were able to get the kill on Spectre. But losing the Primal Beast is going to be a heavy cost on the side of AV. Well, uh, killing of the Spectre, not bad. It is a good trade which was thrown out by God the Juice as well. All said and done. Well, let's look at the numbers. Yeah, a lot more gold gained by Navi Jr. So yeah, that's not a trade that they would have wanted. At least uh, getting the... In case if they would have just lost the Lion, would have been okay. But losing the Primal Beast was a big deal there. He is still off the map for another 11 seconds. So... That's a lot of gold which he could have gained in the process. And, well, he didn't have his BKB as well, right? So had no means of escaping that engagement. In terms of network, Spectre is a hero who is still lurking at the bottom of the network chart with 10,000 net worth against his name. Still working his, upon his Manta style, about 1,000 more gold needed. That's when we might spe see Spectre, but uh, while this is happening, there is a lot of gold gained on the side of AB. Looking at the Templar Assassin, already sitting at 14,000 net worth against her name. And uh, the Broodmother is actually having a pretty decent game at the moment with 15,000 net worth in the hands of PMA. They were making an attempt onto the Roshan who will be there on the Dire side for another three minutes and 40 seconds. So a four man smoke coming in. Of course, Spectre is a hero who does not join into smokes, but the rest of us team is, and they are searching. And if they are able to find the Templar Assassin, that's going to be a free Roshan for the side of Navi Jr. And just at the right, uh, at the wrong area of the map on the Templar Assassin is caught out by four heroes uh, from the side of Navi from the side of Navi Jr. All that while was happening, it is the Spectre who goes down for the side of Navi Jr. And morale, <laughs> he does go ahead and write back good trade uh, for the side of Navi Jr. as well. So a bit of action, and uh, just not in the game. We are looking at a lot of action in the chat as well, wherein we are looking at swift responses coming in from both uh, AV and Navi Jr. as well. Now, uh, there is a buyback which has been committed by Clockwork in order to protect the Aegis of Immortals. 18 seconds before the Spectre comes back online, so that would be a 5 on 5 fight from the side of Navi Jr. Only 8 seconds before the TA is coming back in for the Radiant team. Incoming. 
So how does this fight go for both of these teams would be the question. Uh, a lot would depend upon the initiation. Of course, the vision advantage is always going to be on the side of Navi Jr. Considering we have all of these babies flying around the map. Or just walking around, spider babies walking all around the corners of the map. Smoke coming in. They would be able to get their vision onto the Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman is dead. Just uh, to begin off the fight for the side of uh, AV. Now the Aghanim Scepter has been committed by the Timber Saw. But no, uh, it is the Primal Split. And he's going to go after Phoenix. The Egg will have to be committed, which he does now. Uh, just trying to get away from all the rulings and the team fight is pretty split up in all spaces at the moment the bkb has also been committed by pma he would be able to get a kill that's a die back onto the clockwork so he would not be able to make his way back into the engagement the pulverize has been committed the timber saw is going to take a tumble niku is dead in the engagement pma is still searching for heroes and this team fight is over they would not be able to get any further kill though they would be able to finish off uh, the brewmaster at the end of it with the spectral dragger coming in and the silence and the extra damage from the orchid but eventually we are looking at a team fight which has been won no god the juice is dead again he should not have hung around in the area of course it's going to be morale with more all chat messages well played and there are a couple of tips well deserving but now let's see how many more kills are they able to get uh, kill no they're not able to get any further kills so yeah a couple of tips coming in for god the juice as well i don't think yeah he was in the right area at that point in time should have backed away but nice aggressive thinking from morale you really have to give credit to the primal beast how he played in that engagement against the side of navi jr because uh, without him i think av would have just lost that fight lost that fight hands down and uh, yeah, morale was the big difference in between both of these teams. As we're looking at it, not big net worth swing um, in terms of the gold exchange, but a lot of experience gained by the side of AB in that previous engagement. They would be able to get another kill onto the clockwork with Zayak and uh, Spectre joining hands together. And uh, yeah, that, that's uh, three deaths in a row for the clockwork in the last couple of minutes, as we have seen. Not the worst situations for AB. They would be happy. At least they were able to get the Aegis in the hands of the Templar Assassin, who is working into a Daedalus. Now we are uh, arriving at a stage wherein the network between the Templar Assassin and uh, the Spectre is going to show. Because the damage output coming in from the TA is going to be considerably high. Uh, when the Daedalus or even the Crystallis is completed to a certain degree. What about the Timber Sword? Does have his uh, Bloodstone completed, is working on a Shiva's Guard of his own. PMA does have the BKB completed as we did see in the earlier engagement. What about Spectre? Finally, the Manta Style has been completed. Still, uh, the hero. Let's look at the Spectre net worth. It's very close to Phoenix. Phoenix is sitting at 10,000 and the Spectre is sitting at 12,800. So not much network difference between the position 1 and position 5. Rather the position 4 from the side of Navi Jr. Both having a pretty even game by the looks of it. I, I, I actually see the funny side of it. And yeah, this, this is going to be a big comeback game for the Spectre, isn't it? Uh, a lot of effort will have to be put in by the hero in order to have uh, that kind of uh, aggression. Because at the moment, morale is just not letting the Spectre have a game whatsoever. And once the Aghanim Scepter is completed, the Breaking Mechanism will come into play. They would be able to get a kill onto the Primal Beast. No, he is actually able to get a split up. And now Navi Jr. are going to be finding themselves in a lot of trouble. A nice stun coming in and they would be able to get a kill onto the Timbersaw. Timbersaw is still not dead as yet and is going to use his... Uh, Bloodstone in order to survive that engagement. This is a team fight which AV are going to be backing away from or will be regretting for the next upcoming one minute. There was a successful blink coming in from the Templar Assassin who is able to make it away to safety. But no, they would be losing their uh, Brewmaster in the process. So 3 for 0 trade coming in for the side of Navi Jr. Even with the uh, ages going down, so make it four deaths on the side of AV in that engagement. Now Navi Jr. punching back with a 2,000 network lead. And uh, all of a sudden, we are looking at a Spectre who is catching up. Who is catching up real fast with the Manta style already completed, working towards the BKB. Um, only needs about, say, 1,400 more gold in order to... 1,450 gold in order to have that item completed. So that would be a big upgrade for uh, the Spectre as well, who would be able to roam around and get on top of these pesky supports, specifically the Lion to start of the proceedings, because, yeah, Lion has been creating a lot of problems for the side of Navi Jr. in these previous engagements. 
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. How are you looking at the late game situation? Of course, Navi Jr. with a uh, better late game lineup. Uh, with the Spectre in their hand after level 20, will have that additional 350 health to work with as well. And then, yeah, now, there is a lot of space to grow on the Spectre. And on the Templar Assassin, we are already kind of reaching the end game situation here with the Desolator in the pipeline, then the BKB, and uh, maybe the MKB in the later stages. But again, the, spe uh, the Templar Assassin is still going to feel squishy without the BKB in case if a couple of Navi Junior uh, heroes are able to get on top of the TA, they should be able to make a quick walk out of the hero without many problems. And now more objectives are being cleared by Navi Junior. They have already taken down the bottom tier 2 tower for themselves. That's one big objective gone. And they have all of their tier 2 towers standing. In fact, even a tier 1 tower standing in the bottom area of the map. That's how well the side of Navi Jr. have played, mind you. They have not given away much of map control into the hands of AB. They have been able to maintain this gold uh, gold advantage close to about 0 to 2,000. In fact, they are up at 2,000 at the moment. And now four months more coming in from Navi Jr. Who are they able to find? Um, all of the five heroes from the side of AB are lurking around in the area as well. They are going to be looking at all of these couriers flying in with giving away the vision to the side of AB. Blue Master wants to start the game or start the fight for the side of AB. A nice hook shot connecting one to two heroes. It is going to be Shadow Shaman who dies first. Well, Lion who dies first in the engagement. Shadow Shaman is going to go down next. Primal split was committed but a lot of damage already taken by the side of AB. Uh, AV. Of course, we did see the Templar Assassin going down as well, and the Blue Master without a split is just a sitting duck. And Navi Junior um, are, are, are in complete lead of this game, aren't they? And uh, they would also be able to get a gem of two sight who are for all their efforts. So all sudden, then Navi Junior clearly on the driving seat with uh, excuse me, 3,700 gold gained by them in the previous engagement with uh, 9,900 experience. That, that's quite a ton and now they are making an attempt onto the primal beast on the spectre but no uh, primal beast is just able to tp away back to the safety of his own ancient or the fountain we can say pma is going to go upon the tier 2 tower and i don't think there is any defense to be had from the side of av though this did show very good signs in the early stages of the game but i think the carry to carry matchup really does not favor the side of av Eventually, you're going to look at a Spectre who comes down, comes out on top. And as we are looking at these engagements, just too tankiness, too much tankiness coming in from uh, the side of Navi Jr. and too much to handle for the side of AV in these engagements. Got the juice still tipping away at the Primal Beast, who did a decent job in this game, mind you. Has, uh, has played a very excellent game. 10 to an 8 is the kill scoreboard on Primal Beast. So, yeah, he has been the major difference, was carrying his game for the longest of periods. But now with the tankiness increasing on the side of Navi Junior, things are looking difficult. Now with the BKB Basher completed on the Spectre. Ouchie is on the level 20. He did not go for 350 health. That's surprising. He went for complete damage with 12% Spectral Dragon, uh, Dagger Slow and Bonus. Very situational, I would say. Uh, comes in very handy against the likes of the Primal Beast and slowing down the Primal uh, Master. Aggression in the bottom area of the map, they would be able to finish off the pesky lion to start of the proceedings. And the, yeah, the rest of the hero's clockwork is uh, trying to walk away from that area. Would be able to do so as well, uh, considering the backup coming in from the entirety of the team. Tier 3 tower would be taking a little bit of damage in the process here, but not too much. The rest of the Radiant heroes are able to cover up their tier 3 tower in order to keep it alive for the upcoming engagements. Well, a nice defense coming in. What about the Roshan? We will know the Roshan timer in about 53 seconds. Are they just going to ignore the haste rune? No. Nico would be picking that up on the timber saw. How do Anima Vista actually approach these team fights now? With the, the Agnum Scepter completed on the Primal Beast, that's actually a very big upgrade. 
with uh, this item, the break mechanism, he can actually dish out a lot of damage onto the Spectre, and uh, even the Timber Saw is not going to be fe is not going to be feeling very safe in these engagements because this is a big item pickup with that AOE break, which uh, the Primal Beast will throw out, and at level 25 is when he becomes a complete beast altogether, wherein he cannot be slowed or rooted through in trample. So uh, again, he could go with the plus 67% of the pulverized duration as well that's a lot of disable coming in from the primal beast which talent do you think is better i th think both of them do decently well in this game don't they but he could go with the plus 67 percent pulverized duration on the primal beast this seems too yummy you disable a hero for the longest of periods and the damage by templar assassin should be more than enough in order to get them the victory now roshan is being attempted by the side of ab and in return navi jr are going to target the tier 3 tower and they should be able to get one set of racks for them at least here in the process. They did go ahead and commit with their uh, Shadow Shaman wards as well. And uh, no, they are going to just go after. No, in fact, it is going to be Morale who has come into the fight trying to get dish out the damage. But they are going to be losing at least uh, their melee barracks in the process. They are still trying to defend their towers. Keep fight coming in. The egg has been committed in a very nice place. A lot of damage being dealt by the Phoenix. The Aegis of Immortal is already gone. Templar Assassin finding himself in between four heroes from the side of Navi Jr. And uh, with the buyback status, which we seriously have to shift towards now, AV are on complete backwards. They don't have the tools in order to deal with all of these heroes from the side of Navi. From the side of Navi Jr. And one set of rags down, two set of rags down. And uh, with the buyback status, Templar Assassin does have a buyback to work with. Who else has a buyback? There is no buyback on uh, the Primal Beast. That's going to be GG. That's going to be GG. So a well, uh, a game well played by the side of um, AV in the starting phases of the game. But Navi Jr. eventually are able to come out on top and take a victory for themselves in game number one in this best of two series. So a nice showing um, overall by Navi Jr. A, a lot of, of chats were traded as well in the midst of these team fights, but an, an overall a very good uh, way to start our day. What we are going to do is uh, wait for the game number two to start and uh, please leave a like and subscribe.